Just where it said, do not feed the animals. Always being led on by his brothers, Daniel and Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> they aren't used to politeness. It upsets them. They certainly don't know the meaning of respect. They're still working on unpleasantness as a way of life. Now, nah, what's place for granddad? You might learn something you once forgot. <laughs> Hello there, young Dan. You gave me a bit of a shock there. Look, let me show you a trick we used to do at school. Now, you take a clean hanky, but do I'll I rest match your bones, Grandad? Yeah, you might as well start practicing. <laughs> Here's a trick for you, you old thudderer. Now, watch closely. Now, yes. See ya. And now you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, come on, really. Maybe she still had some hope with young Dirk. And what's more, young man, this is the last time. From now on, you are not to play in any dangerous and uninhabited stretches of tropical rainforest after nine o'clock in... <laughs> in the urban sprawl, a man that's so aptly named Crawley. <laughs> the nearest stretch of uninhabited tropical rainforest that way about three and a half thousand miles to the south in Namibia. <laughs> Mum, can we take Grandad out for a <laughs> spin? Yeah, but watch him carefully. He scratches so easy on sharp corners. Yeah, fancy stretching your legs, old timer. No, 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 too much cholesterol. This calls for a jump start. Ooh. Mind your grandfather! Ah, the exercise will do him good. Oh, let me go, I'm not a cripple. Look, Mum, no ends. <laughs> Just stick, please, Dan, my lad. Stick, dumb. Stick, dirk. Right. He's a little brain keeper for you. <laughs> now, what crawls on four legs in the morning, three legs at lunch, I think he wants his own coat. Done. That coat. Dirk. Yeah, have you got it yet? Now what crawls on four, four, mind you, four legs in the morning, three legs at lunchtime, two legs between lunchtime and tea time, and then between tea time and going to bed, just the one leg. Well, actually it's nothing to do with legs, it's more of a... Dirk, you do as I say. No taking sweets off people without paying for them first. <laughs> Talking to shady salesmen, skulking where the sun never shone. And especially, no leaving school in favour of a highly paid but corrupt job in the city. Providing the behave as his mother told him to behave, Dirk Mowgli might stalk Crawley and come out alive. But it was not easy surviving. When enticements beckoned, and all the worst, worst aspects of the capitalist order as I was saying, are conspiring to make the poor suffer. And let us not surrender the fight until the worst excesses of the factory years have been beaten down. And we, the workers of Gainwood, have fight for the odds. Go, Dross. Now hold on. What it? I'll save your breath, Grandad. It's only a student. Yeah. No, no, no. I want to hear what she has to say. Well, you were telling us, young lady. Woman, if you please. <laughs> lady is a relic of years of servitude and mindless effort. 
Captain Kirk. As you wish. But as far as I'm concerned, and uh, that's not very far, I imagine, manners still make it man, or woman, and you are most certainly a lady. You will at least grant me the right to my own personal opinion. Fair enough. But it changes nothing. At the end of the day, a world in which a minority of men holds the majority of the wealth is a world which seeks to divide and oppress. You will at least grant me the right to my opinion. David. You're cunning and I respect you, but we're on the same side. There are only two sides. Those who want change and those who resist it. You hardly qualify for the first. Which is where you're wrong. <laughs> Remember, Dylan, how many oh, roads... I must I listen to this. Things have moved on. Not so. The location may be different. The faces are younger. But the prize remains the same. Okay, old timer. <laughs> Young lady. So where do we start? By uh, picking up my hat. Buying a coffee? Yeah, there's off the old man. Yeah, she's pushing your back, Grandad. How beastly the bourgeois is, and especially the male of the species. Come again? And the female of the species is more deadly than the male. Good hunting. The worst aspects of the disorder and the crimes may be forced. Oh, come on, Grandad. We should have brought his chair. What chair? You know, your wheelchair, your vegetable basket. I don't need a chair. Look, my legs are fine. I'll spare the lecture, Grandad, and tell us about the war. Memories are dim, but the spirit is still there. It was a good generation past when we... Nah! The war against senility. <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me, officer. You could not to tell me the time of the last dram, could you? Uh, about... Oh, 56 years ago, by my reckoning. <laughs> oh, look, is that our bus? Ooh. Peg it! Oh. Young people out having fun. <laughs> what am I saying? Bloody kids! <laughs> Think they've done it all. No decency. I was young once too, you know. But there I go, slipping into mindless cliché. That's a trouble with us all, folks. We talk in such banal northern stereotype. <laughs> no, we reiterate. Having first issues. Then we, we repeat, we, we re-echo, we recapitulate, and worst of all, we end up going over the same ground over and over again. <laughs> or at least that's how you see us. No DVD the kid to me. You bump into them in the street, they grunt, you grunt, they scream blue murder, and all the time I was just trying to tell them how my life was just as exciting when I was out playing with Harry and, and Buster and, uh, who was that other one? <coughs> one who got injured in that freak Van de Graaff generator act. But, but I said I was sorry, and he forgave me once he got out of hospital and could talk properly. He came round for toast, and together we listened to all 39 episodes of the Boa Experience, starring Norman Wisdom and Gary Wilmot. Uh, it, 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 it wasn't my house, it wasn't my radio, it, it was the Fitzpatrick's next door. But they were on holiday, so no one came to any harm, and that is why it was different then. Manners, yes, the manners. We knew the right time to say hello and very well, thank you, and oh, I'm sorry. How many other people knew your son was born with no head? Now, where was I? Mammals, matters, manners, yes, the manners. Bloody politicians, I've learned a lot with no manners. Well, 
I think that's a, characteristic, a characteristically disappointing result for James Walsh there. Meanwhile, here in Westminster, the corridors of power are literally groaning under the weight of a hard day's mudslinging. Tarnished reputations are in the balance, allegations are flying, and all those with more than a passing interest in the English language are taking to the hills as metaphors and similes are juxtaposed in a quite shocking act of literary slaughter by media hacks such as myself. <laughs> So what the hell is really going on here? Intense speculation surrounds the career of former gangland boss and father of three, Terry the Tiger Townsend, MP for West Hartford East, and one-time condiment advisor to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. During his time in this post, uh, Mr. Townsend is alleged to have diverted large amounts of brown sauce, unknown to his colleagues, into a large, unmarked Zurich bank account, thereby flooding the vaults with this spicy blend of fruit and vegetables, and drowning several bank clerks, and leaving behind that kind of sticky aftertaste which you always associate from from smothering your food with said substance. At the same time, Mr. Townsend secured various contracts for companies all owned by his family, the Et, 13 and a half orphans, and failed to attend a single parliamentary sitting. How be it for the press to prejudge a public figure, but you will of course be pleading guilty in the face of the overwhelming evidence. Well... Clearly, allegations have been made against a person or persons in a position of sensitive responsibility. Uh, against you, yes. Mr. Tanz, let's be clear on this Against point. persons or persons in a position of sensitive responsibility, in which case the normal course of procedure may or may not necessarily apply. Yes, you mean, you mean there's one room for one and one for everybody else? I mean what I say, young lady. And in my present position, the victim. Oh, oh yes. A might I add helpless victim of a base set of preposterous lies and falsehoods. I feel I can do no more. Seems like a good laugh. Certainly gets my vote. A bit fucking drab, but gets my vote too. And mine. If I could vote. In that case, turn it over. You heard him run, change the channel. He was talking to you. Yeah, adverts. <laughs> I'm in the mood to be duped. <laughs> Nervous headache? What you need is the Dr. Slither sachet. Because the Dr. Slither sachet comes in a handy sachet. Available any time of the day or night. You've caught her eye, haven't you? <laughs> she likes your look. <laughs> your style. <laughs> oh, that smell. <laughs> when did she last see water? <laughs> She's coming towards you. <laughs> Wait! A Dr. Slither sachet might save your skin! <laughs> oh, sensational! Now, try your hand. She's in your flat, and you have to make the first move, don't you? Well, now's the time. Ask her for a coffee. What? You've run out of instant granules? A disaster! She's growing impatient. Wait. Reach for a Dr. Slither sachet. Perfect coffee. Any time of the day or night. <laughs> wow! We gotta buy a jar! But we ain't got any money. Then we'll have to steal some. Quick, before the shop shut. But it's only two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, and the nearest store is three and a half hours walk away. Come on, we got things to do. People to see. Shops to live. But Mowgli could only struggle helplessly. His 
brothers had cruelly stapled him to the chair. <laughs> now, life might seem harsh for a little man going up to the big world, but the price of food was high, and a curse was required to say, that's very sad. How many other people knew your son was born with no head? The streets of Crawley were tarmacked, just like any other town. Deceit and vanity drove men. Men, for the most part, drove big cars. <laughs> Such was the life of this impressionable young Crawley. But Dirk Mowgli was cocky and uncouth. He might, if he was nimble, escape the claws of the politician. He might, if he was deaf and blind, shun the temptation of the useless consumer good. But Dirk Mowgli could not escape the inevitable. He can. <laughs> he studied maths and business at school. Will be late on a direct commuter route to the city, only 32 minutes from Waterloo. He knew one day they would come. They would strip him of his homely manners, place a huge salary in his tiny hand, and carry him off for their own to the ruined city, the city of London. What in heaven's name do you think you're doing? <laughs> I hardly think this is the 
beautiful from a woman of your age, even if you were elected secretary last week. Oh, shame! 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 in your garden and expected us to find her ten pence ago. And Mrs. Crump found it. So she won and besides this is a formally constituted meeting and you haven't written your complaint down so you can't speak. Oh, this is a bitter indictment of Patty Right, Minor, I call this meeting to order. Uh, that, that's what we called it last week. Thank you. Item one, apologies for absence. Um, I really am very, very sorry but I haven't touched a drop since I was 15. Oh, no. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, I know. I know! Right! Item two, the man. I seem to have missed out a large portion of my life somewhere along the line. At risk of losing you completely, let me explain. Mowgli, being the focus of his attention, has thrown the jungle into some confusion. He's a man cub, and a very youthful one of that, so they can't kill him. Then he's not a wolf, so they can't face him. Let the boss explain. The child must be adopted. Oh. Alone, he would not survive beyond the rise of the next move. No. Impossible. The boy belongs in the village. The document would be a curse on the pack. Thanks for your concern, but I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Yes, yes. What would you do for food? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. No, I can't have no decision is the wrong decision. I remain implacable. I'm sorry. Could you could you spell that? Try firm, yeah. If they've already started to black a bull... Well, cross it out, then! Presentation, I trust. Good. Good! He's here already, splendid fellow Mowgli. Bored of all this senile old rambling. Shere Khan, I must remind you that while you stand before the senior council, you are bound by the law of the pack. The man cub is in our possession. Well, Nonsense! He's free to roam. And so am I. You must accept our decision, Shere Khan. And the cub stays here to be brought up in true c &E fashion by... Any volunteer? Oh, well. Mrs. Crubb. Oh. 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 Arthritis. <laughs> Don't be anyone! What's all the fuss about? Right, so young man. The Keeler. Mm. It would give Shere Khan great pleasure to... I do believe that Baloo the Bear still plays a part in this. Oh. 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 <laughs> still waddling about like a tired jackass. Akela, I'll look after the child for you. Granted, decided, accepted anything you want. Write it down, Mrs. Grum. Write it down before he changes his mind. Any objections? No, 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 no. Fascinating combination. Ignorant youth and rampant traditionalists. Here, here. Can't possibly work. No, no, this can't do. I give you another answer. Why you can't stay? To back with the jackal. All right, glamour isn't everything. <laughs> no, Baloo. I couldn't let you do this alone. The child is our responsibility. Look. Oh, well, quiet. Don't be so insolent. Jump on off. Please, please head out. <coughs> the match is decided. Check out. Partnership is forged. <laughs> no, no, okay. The problem is me, Chef. Good hunting, man cub. You couldn't run. And you could probably hide. But Sheer Khan will sniff you out. You may rely on that. Come along, Come along, Mr. Trump. When do we start? 
You start by telling me what there is to learn that I don't already know. Oh, well, may I begin? At your own pace, my friend. Every Jew starts with a No. Every journey begins with a No. Every Jew. Look, what I mean to say is The law, Baloo? Why don't you tell about the law? Yes, the jungle law, which you must never forget, little frog. I'm not little. I'm not a frog. And I'm not sitting here while you tell me about no law. Innocent youth. The meaning is... <laughs> meaning I know what I mean. Meaning he's confused. <laughs> What's this? Ah, now that, that is the book of the jungle law. Feel free to browse. But it's empty. Astounding observation. Tell him, Bagheera. My first is in call, but never in script. My second is in chant, but never is writ. My third is in knowledge, your mind must be sure. And good hunting all who keep to the law. I give up. What's the answer? That was the answer. Though to be fair, there was no question. That was the riddle of the jungle law, and also its first lesson. The law has been passed down from father... When will he ever learn? And mother, Baloo, and mother... By, by call and cry, by squeal and shout, but never has a word been written down. An unwritten social constitution. And there ends the first lesson. So it's lunchtime. So it's time for lessons. <laughs> the jungle cares for its young. Which is you. But without the young, there would be no old. Which is him. And without the old, who would, who would teach the young? Well, they could read it from the book. As man is cursed by a splitting hair, what was the first law I taught you? Uh, something about an unwinding social convulsion? No. <laughs> Conspication? No. Carlin Wellen? <laughs> Look, let's move on to the third. The kill belongs first to the cub, then to the weak, then to the old, then to the strong, and lastly to Tabakwi the jackal. Kill the deer, the pig. Kill at night. Sleep under the sun. Know that the law binds us all. Play beneath its boughs, for its shadow is long. I fear no one. But beware the three who hunt Mowgli. For Mowgli is the sworn enemy of Car the Snake. Car the Temptress. Whose charms could beckon a, a nut from its shell? A fruit from its... <laughs> flan? Look upon the monkey tribe and know a disordered people who aren't there. They are forever searching, but they don't know what they're looking for. For they have no leader, and yet a thousand leaders. Mowgli, they will hurt you. For you have the one drive to elude them. Will you stop talking like this? Like what, pray? Well, love that. All this new, not what stuff, and, and praying. And what's this prize that I've got? For you're human, but they're not. For you laugh. They jabber. For you cry. They jabber. For you show respect. And they keep on... Remember, <laughs> unless you're a goldfish bowl, <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> this goldfish bowl only has a memory span of 15 seconds. <laughs> but that's alright, because there are no goldfish bowls in tonight's audience. Because I know, because I check. <laughs> See, goldfish bowls don't make very good audience members, <laughs> on account of their relatively poor clapping ability. <laughs> I may go so far as to say, this is pretty far out on the limb. As we were talking about golfers for limbs. <laughs> anyway, if it hasn't got any limbs, then how does a goldfish bowl? <laughs> <laughs> Which is a rather contorted way of saying that when you left us, Moby was bemoaning his shortness. Blue had skipped off. Moby had pretty soon remembered that it was well past his lunchtime. Well, you are, but I don't suppose there's anything wrong 
wrong in that. Baloo, I'm sorry. Forgiven. Baloo, I'm really, really, truly, honestly sorry and I promise I won't do it again. Forgiven. Baloo, I'm hungry. Shame. I could kill for a, a steaming, fresh... Well, it makes two of us, but I do so detest eating man on an empty stomach. <laughs> yeah. That's Baloo. Except you're not Baloo. <laughs> Interesting shout for such a small boy. <laughs> oh, well, you're a man cub, so I suppose that counts for something. <laughs> Come here, little frog. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> Human flesh loses so easily. Baloo. Looks like a bubba bear with no bubba brain that he is. Now I. Shere Khan, a fellow of most well-placed and well-respected uh, origins, do um, I'll give you my word, a humble offering for so deep and heartfelt and an understanding that henceforth there exists between us certain irrevocable responsibilities that I would be hard-pressed, nay, extremely hungry to break. Thank you. Uh? <laughs> we understand one another. We do? Pray, Mowgli. Pray. Do sit beside me. And uh, pick the meat from under my nails. <laughs> okay, so we'll forget the meat picking for the moment. <laughs> Relax, eat! So, uh, what's all this man's implacable tiger enemy stuff anyway? You shouldn't believe everything people say, Mowgli. That was fantasy. <laughs> or maybe fiction. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a game. You close your eyes and tell me the first thing that comes into your head, beginning with E. E for evil. Your turn. <laughs> e for eating. Epicure. Edible. Crunch. Hey, Punch. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what? Is this intrusion? Council is law, Shirkai! If I choose to break it, Baloo! Then Bagheera the Panther stands in your way! And Baloo the Bear, called the Aged by those who knock him, stands... Well, just a little bit behind. <laughs> Let me tell you a cautionary tale. The ones lived in the jungle. Very cute, fluffy, cuddly, but very dead bear called Baloo. <laughs> One evening, Baloo had been out wandering in the jungle. The briefest moment had forgotten to stay alert for Shere Khan the tiger. And Shere Khan the tiger had wasted not a second in surprising the bear and skinning the very hide from his back. Before crying out, No! Animal denied Shere Khan what is rightfully his! And lift the tail the tail! End of story. <laughs> Mowgli! Yes, Baloo? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Mowgli. Baloo? Careful, Baloo, that hit me. Baloo, this isn't the way. You hit me again. Granted. <laughs> To him. Studies prove that the repeated clubbing of young offenders provokes <laughs> alienation from society and the submerged desire to continue the crime. Mowgli, who is the sworn enemy of man? She can't. And who will try to deceive you with caramel talk and clever vo vocabulary? Precisely, and clever perambulatory. <laughs> she can't, she can't. Beware, Shere Khan. And what do you say if a strange tiger offers you fruit, Mowgli? <laughs> Shere boredom, Baloo. Skull mummy tedium. Oh? How about I teach you something for a change? Good. What's good? Don't keep talking. Baloo, listen to me. Stop grinning. You're even beginning to act like a bear. No, Baloo. Yes. Yes. Congratulations, Mowgli. You have wisdom. You have insight. You have Bagheera and myself. Well 
Welcome to Beardom! I knew it! <laughs> Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean those bare necessities, where Mother Nature's recipes that bring the bare necessities. Like wherever I wander, wherever I roam. Buzzing in the trees and making honey just for me. When you look under the rocks and plants and take a glance at the fancy ants and baby, try it. Chewy ants are disgusting. Should yourself. Just leaves more for everyone else. <laughs> the bare necessities of life will come to you. Well, they'll come to you. Look for the bare necessities. And they bring those bare necessities of life. Now when you pick a ball paw or a prickly pear, and you pick the wrong paw, well next time, Ow. beware. <laughs> Don't pick the prickly pear with a paw. When you pick a pear, try to use the claw. But you don't need to use the claw when you pick a pair of the big paw paw. <laughs> Don't be shy, but we'll 
Uh, something more scholarly, perhaps? Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Um, my love is as a fever. <laughs> um, my lover's eyes are nothing like the sun. Coral is far more red than her lips be red. What's so special about your eyes? Oh. <laughs> on this. <laughs> Ding dong. <laughs> Good afternoon, madam. We are Tupperware salesmen. We were in your area. Not we... today, thank you. Well, not even a glance. We have them in a range of seven colours. Not one of them orange. <laughs> well, I am... Let's start with the picnic mug. It's light, it's portable, it's 100% snake proof. Well, now you come to mention it, I have And we have them in a range of three sizes, each exactly the same. <laughs> to match your ever expanding needs. Now get Mowgli. Why me? Because you're a woman. <laughs> uh, and the woman who would be better at doing that sort of thing than an old daughter like me. I can see that a snake in your position finds itself making a lot of soup. Hey, perhaps you have it in a blue. Blue! Uh, let's see. Yes, what can I say? Blue is, is far more... Blue! Beautiful. And the matter of tough ones? Well, let's have a look in here. Is it Bagheera? Can't you see I'm on the verge of a major deal here? <laughs> blue is your mind really that decayed? What does this say to you? Uh, monkey droppings. <laughs> Monkey droppings? My movie! Oh, oh my gosh! Don't, this is all your fault, Cass! You, Baird, would have been a fair kill. He was under my protection. I was free to walk out of our relationship at any time. <laughs> well, he was paralyzed from the feet of the shit. Look at this. But today's paper. And? It's all crumpled. It's a late edition. So they were here at most three hours ago. Which means? And they can't have gone far. Car, you're obliged to help us find Mowgli. Ah, uh, obligation, Baloo, is not a word I recognise. Well, how about you owe us for the Tupperware? Um, I refuse to do business with many beards. <laughs> Boss beards? Oh, you think of everything. <laughs> we have a deal. But only on my terms. Well, I'll, I'll throw in a flan dish. <laughs> hmm. Seven proof. Oh, done. But I have a feeling I shall come to regret this. Carl, follow me. <laughs> Would you 
look at that. <laughs> it's light. It's durable. It's brown. You, you can put liquids in it. You know, they, they really don't make them like they used to. Today. <laughs>
Cause I'm the king of the swing and it's a jungle VIP. I've reached the top and had to stop and that's what's bothering me. I want to be a man, man cup. At last there is no doubt. And features like ordinary men, I'm tired of punching out. Oh, I'm tired of me. Somebody else. Don't be a cruel man cub. Clue me what to do. What I desire is man's red fire to make my dream come true. Oh, fire! That's easy. No, no, no. You've missed the point somewhere on the line. I know how to make fire. And pay for the privilege. Team report. Brian, we tried oranges. Too pithy. Brian, well, Brian, we tried soil, but it just wouldn't light. No. Brian, well, Brian, I think you'll find that leaves us with. Scones! Scones! Yes. Of course. However many you put out, there's always one left. Always uh, one. <laughs> Everlasting! <laughs> so where do I fit into this world domination scheme? Ah. Well. Mowgli. <laughs> We, um, we just wanted somebody different to have tea with. Splendid idea! Off right on the button of four! Chasing after mindless news. Eat and sleep. That's the answer. But Nira, I don't think eating and sleeping is going to make five hyperactive apes give over their holy grail. No, Baloo. What did they eat and sleep? Oh, even grander. Excuse me, Mr. Extremely Volatile and Completely Unreasonable Monkey Creature. Would you mind lying down for a minute? <laughs>
They're a bit dry, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with your mouth for? The scones? Yes. <laughs> Stampede of cattle. There was really nothing I could do. 
I think you might be right, Bagheera.
make the release. Is that recording though? Is it, is it saying record? Is it saying uh, wreck? No. Yes. Stand by, record. Meanwhile, here in Westminster, the corridors of power has been groaning under the weight of a hard day's mostly. Um, Miss Lizzie Walker, could you, could you give us a few details of what is actually going on here? This is Lucy. Behind the scenes. Is that her smoking? I think so, there, isn't it? And is he, is he, is he? 20th birthday. Hello, yeah. Mum. Uh, this is Tom. Hello, uh, Kieran. That's Lucy. That's Lucy. That's me. Oh, I'm the star of the show. Stop. 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 This is Tabitha. Stop. 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 Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's Alex. The guy does go in the background over there. If you zoom in on him, you give us a close up on that. Yeah. That's Elliot the Rock. He's a bit of a wanker, to be honest. Now, Brian Cam. Put it down, Put it down. Yeah, see if we can get it. Put it Brian Cant. Put it Brian backstage and play away. Come on, Brian, are you going to give us any of your favourite numbers? Oh, no, please, Brian. Uh, I, I, I know you don't give interviews. Uh, Elliot, Elliot, can you say, to, no, this is Mr. Terry the Tiger Townsend. You know, um, I could have been a contender. Mr. Townsend, tell me about his latex doll, Mr. Townsend. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>